Good morning, and welcome to my first screencasting experience. My name is Judith, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to do a PubMed search, have those results exported as an RSS feed, and display in your WordPress blog. It may sound complicated, but I'll try to make it easy for you. Let's get started. I'm entering in a search for a topic that I'm interested in and I have predetermined that it is a mesh term. Left click go with your mouse. Then below the tabs find the drop down menu for send to. Scroll down to RSS feed and left click with your mouse. This way the PubMed feeds will display the latest biomedical articles on sinusitis and link back to the PubMed citations. Click Create Feed. If you right click on the XML button and you scroll down to Copy Link Location and then left click with your mouse, we'll have the feed ready. Let's go on over to the WordPress blog. On the dashboard page, Scroll over to Presentation. Below Presentation on the same line as Themes, go over to Sidebar Widgets. Left click that. We see the sidebar arrangement in my two previous searches. And I have another available widget, so I'm going to left click on the RSS3 and drag it right up to the sidebar. I am left clicking on the lines here and you can right click in to paste in the feed from the XML button. And I'm giving the feed a title of sinusitis and I want to display five items and we can X out of that. If you're not seeing the RSS feed as an available widget, scroll down to RSS feed widgets here and you can select up to nine. I want to save changes. Now the sidebar has been updated. I'm left clicking on view site. You can see my previous searches for celiac disease and osteochondroma. And there is sinusitis. If we click on one of the articles here, you'll see that that takes you directly to PubMed. If you have any additional questions, feel free to leave feedback at becomingalibrarian.blogspot.com. Thank you.